Hello everyone, this is a quick video on XADC implementation with Tiger. Over here is a hardware setup required for the implementation. Tiger provides four external analog input pairs, two of them are configured in unipolar mode and two others in bipolar. The bipolar mode in this implementation has a reference of 0 0.5 volts. Here is the XADC header to which analog signals are connected. The setup uses three presets to output different voltages. The channels 6 and 15 are connected to 1V and 0.5V respectively. Channel 7 is connected to the third output of the preset. We will use the preset to change the voltage and verify if the channel is working in bipolar mode. We will now move on to Vivado and trigger the ILA so that we can view the data. Okay, we are now on Vivado and we have already programmed the board. We will now trigger the ILA after which the data will appear as waveforms over here. But first I'd like to talk about the bipolar modes. We have configured two input pairs in bipolar mode. We have also set 0.5V as reference for those input pairs. Bipolar mode uses two's complement for representation. That means any voltage between 0.5 and below 1V will have straight binary representation and voltage between 0V to 0.5V will have signed representation as they will have one on their MSP. We will now re-trigger the ILA. And now we have completely new data available. Channel number here represents the input pairs on the board and this is the corresponding output of the channel. We have connected 0.51 volts on channel 15, 1.05 volts on channel 6 and 0.835 on channel 7. And if we calculate the output with this equation and convert that into hex, the output will be around the one we received on the ILA. We will now change the radix to binary so that we can verify that the channel 7 has its representation on its complement. So we have applied a voltage of 0.835 volts on channel 7 and here we have no MSP that means the number is positive. Now if we change the voltage below 0.5 volts we will have 1 it is MSP. We have now changed the voltage and now we will retrigger the ILA to see if there is any change. And here the MSP has become 1 that means the number is negative. We have implemented the XADC and verified it. We will be back with another video next time. Thank you.